All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Matt Wells in Utah State is looking to make a comeback this season in the Mountain West Conference. Last season, they went six and seven overall in the decline. In 2014, they actually had ten wins. In 2013, nine. So they had nine to ten to six. They're looking to improve this season and try to make it a sleeper in the Mountain West Conference. And they actually are my sleepers this season. Now, they do have the return of quarterback Kent Myers, who did a pretty good job last season while he was on the field. 16 touchdown passes to just three picks. It shows that he has good decision-making skills as far as throwing the football. Now, yes, he only passed for just over 1,500 yards, but I still think he's a good quarterback. He did rush for just around 350 yards on the ground, 4.2 yards per carry. And he does have an outstanding running back in Devontae Mays, who is a workout buff in the gym. Him. Reminds me a lot of Robert Turbin during his time as an Aggie. And Mays can do the same thing at 5'11", 220 pounds, a bulky guy and who hits the gym very well. He could be a good prospect, a good sleeping prospect at running back for the 2017 NFL Draft. Now, the bad news about it is the receiving core, Hunter Sharp and Devontae uh, Robinson, the top two receivers for the team, particularly number one and Sharp, are no longer with the team. Sharp is actually trying out for the Philadelphia Eagles. So they have a brand new receiving core that um, Kent Myers is going to have to make adjustments to and build chemistry with these new players. Now, on the defensive unit, there's a lot of questions in their front seven with their linebacking core. They don't really have much experience at linebackers, so they're going to have to step it up this season and they don't have a premier pass rusher so there are some players that's going to have to step it up and try to figure things out in the front seven but they do have a couple of players in the secondary that I do like in Devin Centers as well as Jalen Davis. First, let's talk about Devin Centers. He is the son of Larry Centers, an all-pro fullback in the National Football League. He's a good athlete, has great speed. He could be a sleeper as well for 2017. Now, for Jalen Davis, he actually has three interceptions last season. And I'm looking forward to seeing him commit more pass breakups at the cornerback position. Mays is more used at safety, but Davis is a is the cornerback and I'm looking for more pass breakups just to see his overall cover skills. We've shown that he's shown that he could definitely catch the football with three interceptions but I'm looking to see more improvement as far as swatting the ball away. Passes defended. He's going to have to improve with that. Now this season like I said I'm actually going to call them out as my sleepers this year. I'm actually having high hopes offensively. They do have the return of a lot of honorable mention offensive linemen for the uh, um, uh, Mountain West Conference in this Aggie team. I think they could be a huge sleeper and I actually have this team surprisingly going 8 and 4 overall in their uh conf in their uh, uh regular season not making it to the conference championship but they could still, um, like I said, wreck havoc and cause a couple wins. And I think this is a decent offense, a good sleeping type offense for this upcoming season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have one more blog for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.